Hello everyone, welcome to another Monster Guide and today I'm going to discuss uh, Bulldozer which is a unit, unit that I've built fairly recently. I'm using him quite a lot and because I did a copper um, Monster Guide a little while ago now but um, I use Bulldozer in conjunction with that copper now. So I thought it might be a good idea to just, just discuss how he's used, you know, how to ruin him um, and just show you what kind of damage he can do. Right, so first off, let's discuss his skills. Right, so the first skill here, um, so it's obviously it scales with defense, all his abilities scale with defense, which is why he's, he's sort of a nice complement to uh, uh, Copper, who's like, you're gonna use a defense buffer with him anyway, so he's gaining, gaining damage. Uh, as well as, uh, so you have two nukers, basically, uh, that's bas basically um, how you run the, like, the, the composition. You have two nukers to snipe two units, and then after that you can 1v3, right? So with the first skill, this skill um, has a chance to stun, which is quite nice, um, and if they're not suffering any harmful effects, um, another attack is done. So there's, it, it can be a triple hit, um, most of the time it will be a triple hit because you don't really have a lot of debuffs on your team except for maybe slow. So if there's, if there's a slow on the team, uh, sorry, a slow debuff, right, from Immensity, then uh, this will only do two hits, but each hit does have a chance to stun. So basically if there's no debuffs on, on the, uh, the unit that you're hitting, you can triple hit and have, you know, three chances to stun, 25% each. So it's pretty nice. Uh, especially when you, you when you have one unit left and you can keep stunning that unit, it reduces the, the amount of damage they can do. It sort of relies on them violent proccing, but even if they violent proc, it means that you're still denying them at least one of the hits. Yeah, whereas if you if you didn't stun them and they violent proc, then they're hitting you twice, right? So it's a good way to reduce damage, and of course it it does a pretty decent amount of damage as well. Uh, so the second skill, uh, it's uh, it's a attack bar decreasing ability. I find this ability doesn't do much because um, it scales off both HP and defense. I don't feel it's really worth um, investing a lot of HP into you know trying to boost this skill up. It is an AOE, which is nice, but most of the time you should be sniping two units already, and therefore there's only one unit left. So most of the time, you're probably going to try to stun them with the first skill. But in cases where they, maybe they're already stunned already, then uh, you could use this ability, ability just to decrease their attack bar, buy you more time to uh, buff again or for your copper to move uh, and, and finish them off if it's a really tanky unit. Now the third ability is um, it's this, it, this is his main single target nuke, right? Full bot power punch. Uh, this ability ignores defense for, for sure, and um, it stuns him. Like, it, it stuns himself as opposed to stunning the opponent, right? So when you when you do this ability, you do a lot of damage, but you, you stun yourself afterwards. Um, and of course, this ability scales with defense, right? Uh, so the, like the main draw to this ability is that one. Um, it ignores defense, and then two, his element elemental properties means that he can hit fire units as opposed like, as opposed to where copper can deal with water units for you, but he can't really deal with fire units. So previously, I used to use Randy to, as my damage dealer against uh, fire units, but I found that bulldozer uh, against a lot like certain units, he's a lot better. For example. He's a really good counter to Vela Jewel, who's typically built like f with fairly high defense. So the people usually stack speed and defense on onto Vela Jewel, and therefore his HP won't be that high. And therefore you can snipe Vela Jewel quite easily with a bulldozer. Um, and with the the, the self-stunning portion of this ability. For this reason, I usually will recommend you to use will runes on him, or well, one one set of will runes. Uh, and that's why my my one here, you can see, I have a will set, 
and when you have will and you use full power punch you don't stun yourself afterwards all right as long as you have immunity on your on yourself then yeah, he won't stun himself with that with full power punch um, obviously if, if you if the battle was a bit long like longer than that um, the composition unless you're using Chloe with it he probably won't have immunity on him again so he will get stunned but as long as you can snipe like an, another unit by then you shouldn't really it shouldn't really matter too much if you stun yourself at that point right uh, assuming things go well for the first portion of the fight if they still have multiple units up you know by the time you do a second full power punch and stun yourself you're probably gonna lose anyway um, you know if you don't kill anything so um, so I think it's fine just to have one rule set and you, you don't really need to worry about running another like a, a, a proper immunity buffer for your team you probably can if you want um, but not necessary all right so uh, these are the stats that I have on my bulldozer it's you build him basically the same way as a copper except that you have your ideally you should have a will set on bulldozer so um, there is another reason not only because of full power punch is stunned but the other reason is because um, for the composition that you'll probably run him in you're gonna use copper and immensity right and immensity fills an attack bar of one unit and most of the time I think you'll probably use it on copper right um, I guess if you use a will copper then you could use Immensity's buff on Bulldozer instead. So basically, one or the other of your nukes would need to be on Will. For me, I put it on, put the Will on, uh, sorry, Bulldozer because my Copper's already set up to do a certain, like, a really high damage. And I don't want to change him, so I'm leaving him as he is, and then I, I put the Will runes on my Bulldozer. But you can do it the other way around if that's, you know, if that suits you better. Um. So for the rest of the set, like the abilities, right? Oh, sorry, the rest of the um, runes. You can do Rage, uh, or a combination of Guard, um, Blade, uh, for... Like, those Those are for pure uh, stat boosting... Uh, how should I say? Uh, stat boosting rune sets, okay? But you can also use Broken sets, it's still fine. Um, as long as your Bulldozer does the amount of damage that you need him to do. Uh, so thi against things like uh, Kumars, my, my Bulldozer doesn't do enough damage because I'm not you know, going full out with Rage and or Guard and stuff like that. He can certainly do a lot more damage and then potentially one-shot a Kuma. Um, but I sort of built it because uh, my Copper takes out the Retash, which I feel is more important to kill if, they have, if they're running, a, say, a double Beast Bump composition, which is fairly, fairly common. Um, I'd rather take out the retash because he's got the defense break on his ability, right? Whereas Kuma's just heal block, which doesn't matter against a YOLO comp like this. So uh, I don't mind if Bulldozer doesn't do um, as much damage. Um, shield is not, like, decent for him as well because he's got pretty high base HP, 10,000. It's not not bad, and therefore that's why I've. Like, I mean, ideally, I think I would prefer to have either Blade or Guard to increase his damage even further or even a Rage set. But because the substats are pretty good on my uh, Shield set, I, I'm using it as is. Okay? Or in this way. And I'll just show you the runes real quick. Uh, you can pause if you need to, to have a closer look. These runes are not the greatest. Um, it's just the best I had after ruining up a Copper. So uh, I'm just sticking with this for the time being. Eventually I'll try to upgrade them, but I'm not in a hurry. He does a pretty decent amount of damage for me in Guild Wars. Uh, now I'm going to show you uh, how much damage he can do with his abilities, right? Assuming the composition is um, immensity, bulldozer, copper. Right, I'm not going to put copper in just because he doesn't. I don't need to put him in to like show his damage. I just need to show bulldozer's damage. And just keep in mind. This, this, uh, because this composition, composition, I would usually recommend you to use it in Guild Wars because um, I feel it's more suitable for Guild Wars as, as opposed to uh, Arena. Um, so when you use it in Guild Wars, your Bulldozer will probably do a lot more damage than he does in TOA because it, 
in Guild Wars, you have the Guild Flags as well. So it depends on how high up your Guild Flags are. Uh, so as a test, we'll, um, we'll buff up Bulldozer and we'll do Full Power Punch to show you how much he does without any Guild Flags. Uh, I'll put these at times one so it's, it's easier to see. Right, that, was a, that was about between 16,500 to 17,000, so that was about 34,000 damage, right? Um, I'm just going to exit this and come back in, just to make it easier to show you the other abilities. So in, in Guild Wars, with my flags, I would expect him to do about 18 to 19,000 per hit. Right, so that it's about 37 to 38,000 damage, and that's good enough to kill a lot of, like, pretty much any Velojul, Veramos, um, some, like, you, most Monkey Kings, unless it's like a full tank one. Um, uh, Wind Monkey, um, that's what I'm talking about, or even Fire Monkey, uh, that, that works too. Um, now let's let's buff him up, and we'll show you how much damage he will do with the other two abilities. Because uh, you got to keep in mind in this uh, this comp, the only defense breaker is going to be the copper, and the copper's defense break is extremely unreliable, and you probably won't have a lot of um, accuracy on him either. So I believe his uh, spinning smash is like 50% application rate and then there's a resist check. So for me, my copper pretty much never defense breaks, ever. So we'll just show you how much, or I'll show you how much damage he does uh, without a defense break, okay. So we'll, we'll hit the, the light Amazon again. So that was like just under 7,000 per hit, right? In Guild Wars it'd probably be about a little bit over 7,000 per hit. That's pretty good, that, uh, that's on a triple hit. So a triple hit gives you, 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 you probably expect him to do about 20,000. That's pretty good considering, um, you know, it, there's no defense break on them as well. So if there's defense break, you probably do a lot more. But also keep in mind, these units are not exactly very high armored because it's a, a tier away floor 90. I find it's a little bit lower than, um, say, like the Phimon stages with the armored units. All right, let, let's just exit this and we'll uh, try again with the third ab oh, second ability I should say okay so this is a body press let's see how much damage you can do 7000 as you can see it's about about the same damage for a single hit of his first ability, but the first ability does double or triple hit. So against single target, of course, you're probably going to use the first ability. Uh, if there happens to be two units up, you might want to body press to reduce attack bars, to give you more time. Um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much how I would run the composition. So basically, uh, the idea is Remessity will. Uh, make copper move turn one and snipe preferably the armor breaker or um, or buff remover right if there's a, a single buff remover uh, I usually I, you can bring this team against this for, so for example like a Praha team with um, some other non water unit that uh, that bulldozer can snipe then that's a decent team to put it in so for example say Praha Vela Jewel and a beast mark or something like that you could bring it against that team so Copper will snipe the Praha in that case, um, and if there's no Praha or anything like that, you snipe the most dangerous armor breaker or the water unit, right? And then Bulldozer will kill whoever you feel he can kill. So for me, I'll bring it against things where uh, I snipe, or I can say a water unit, and I'll snipe the Velojul or Veramos. It's probably the most common ones I bring in, in against. Um, the most other common unit uh, composition I bring in against is the Fiomas Velojul Chasun comp or something similar to that where Copper can snipe one unit and then Bulldozer can snipe the other one that doesn't have as much HP. And then once you know say Fio is alone, he shouldn't kill 
the rest of the units, no matter how much he violent procs, right? Unless he's maybe super lucky, because all your units are very tanky, right? So as long as you can last long enough to just like pop his endure as like within the next turn or two, uh, you should be fine after that, right? You might have to sacrifice a unit for it, but as long as you win, you know, at least you get the win. Um, and just another thing to mention, I, I was talking about the wall runes um, on Bulldozer, right? Um, so with Bulldozer having wall runes, because he's moving second or last on your team, really, right? You need him to, him to be protected against uh, incoming armor breaks and stuff, or mainly armor breaks. It happens to be something like, uh, let's say you have to kill a Praha, but there's still a Ritesh on the board as well, right? Um, even if Ritesh is on, like, as long as Ritesh is uh, there with no other buff remover, he won't armor break your your uh, bulldozer, right? And therefore, bro bulldozer can still do his maximum damage next turn. Uh, so, for example, maybe it's like a Varabos Ritesh Praha team. Then you snipe the the Praha, and then you probably want to use the uh, the bulldozer to snipe the Varabos. Like bulldozer is like it's going to be uh, one immune to other armor break, and two he's going to be immune to any stuns from Veromos, and therefore he should just kill him, right? And therefore then Retouch will be on his own, and he shouldn't be at a one v three. Right? That's the way the team sort of works. You, you you make it an unfair fight after turn one, right? So I think that's pretty much all that all I have to cover on on the team. Um, I, because I, I would say this team is only exclusively used in uh, Guild Wars. I don't feel Bulldozer is really useful anywhere else in the game, uh, just because his skills don't really work, you know, very well outside of PvP. And being a defense unit in PVE is not necessarily very great, because if he if he gets armor broken, it reduces his damage significantly. And there's a lot of areas where either the fire units are not suitable or um, having a defense based unit is not not optimal because of the defense break. And also he's a very slow monster that also needs uh, a fair bit of setup. Now you have to bring crit buff and defense buff most likely. Um, and yeah, so that's why I, uh, I'll if you want to build him, I, I would say wait until you're ready to build Guild War specific units. And then he, he's a very suitable unit for it. Uh, as you can see, I've, I, in my recent videos, I use him a fair bit. And I feel it's a very safe comp. I, I have rarely lost with that composition. Um, the only times I really lose is when I sort of underestimate how much HP the opponent will have. Um, and say, like, my copper might just miss killing a Ritesh by Sliver, right, and then that, that's the only real time I lose. Alright, so I'm going to leave it here, thanks guys for watching, if you have any questions feel free to ask me in comments and I'll get back to you as soon as, you can, as, I, as I can, and also if you have any units that um, you want to see in future monster guides, and assuming I have that unit, uh, let me know and I'll, I'll show it to you in a future monster guide. So take care, have a good one, bye bye.